All right, so we're going to spend some time here uh, looking through the solving equations review worksheet um, problems that I gave you. Um, so I'm going to work through the process and just kind of show you step by step um, how to do these. So uh, we need to start by getting these into one fraction, a single fraction. Since we have a common denominator already, we can just put it all over three. And so we have 5x minus, now it's all of this that we're subtracting. So we have to put that in parentheses so we can distribute it through. Okay, so now our next step is going to be to distribute that negative. Don't distribute the 5x, it has to be that negative. Um, and so we can say 5x minus 3 minus a negative 4x becomes a positive, or adding 4x over 3 equals 8. So now what we need to do is uh, get this into, uh, we need to combine like terms. So we have this 5x and this positive 4x. So 5x plus 4x is equal to 9x. So we have on the top 9x minus 3 divided by 3 equals 8. And then we can come. And now that we have the, the numerator simplified, to get rid of this, since we're dividing by 3, we have to multiply both sides by 3. And this just cancels that out. So we're left with 9x minus 3 equals 24. From here, we need to... Uh, let's use this color. Uh, we need to isolate our variable term, so we add 3 to both sides. Cancel those, so now we have that 9x equals 27 divide both sides by 9x equals 3. Let's take a look at, uh, so that was problem 3. Let's take a look at problem number 4. Here we have 8 tenths times 2 minus x minus 4 tenths times 3x minus 2 equals 4. Okay, we don't have any fractions, so we don't have to worry about getting a common denominator or one a single denominator or anything like that. But we are we have to distribute. So let's distribute this through here, and then we're going to distribute this through here. Okay, so if we have 0 0.8 times 2, that is 1.6 minus 0 0.8 times x, which is 0.8x. Positive times a negative here is 1.2 times x, which is 1.2x. And then a negative times a negative is a positive, and 0.4 times 2 is a positive 0.8. Drop down, this equals 4. Okay, so now what we need to do is find like terms. So we have this positive 1.6 and this positive 0 0.8, and then we have this minus 0.8x and this minus 1.2x. So if we take 1.6 and we add it to 0 0.8, we go 1.6 plus 0 0.8, we're gonna get 2.4, and it's positive, 2.4. If we take a negative 0 0.8 plus a negative 1.2, we're, we're adding those together, and so you get zero, carry the one, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we get a minus, oh, and that's negative because they're both negative, 2.0x, which all equals 4. Okay, from here we need to isolate our variable term, which is this negative 2.0x, so we need to subtract 2.4 from both sides. And so this is really a 4.0, so we borrow, we get 6. We get 1.6 equals negative 2.0x. And then finally, in order to solve for one of our variables, we have to divide by negative 2.0, divided by negative 2.0, and x equals negative 0.8. Because what we can do is come over here and say 1.6 divided by 2. 2 goes does not go into 1, but it goes into 16 8 times evenly. So we have 0.8 and a positive divided by a negative is a negative. 